Well, tonight, the public will get to hear the latest on how Duke Energy plans to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. Meteorologist Alisa Rafa live right now at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, where the North Carolina Utilities Commission is holding a meeting tonight. Alisa. Yes, and I just got to speak to one of those representatives from Duke Energy. The point of tonight's meeting is to have public comment. Now, they've been doing these meetings across the state over the last month. They've already hit Wilmington, Durham, and Asheville. And last night at the meeting in Asheville, some climate activists actually showed up because they want to see action more extreme and faster. So no word here if we've got, I haven't seen any protesters around here tonight. But this is the law that was signed by Governor Cooper that requires these emissions to be cut by 70 percent uh, by 2030 and carbon neutral by 2050. And to do that, Duke is going to triple their solar and add offshore wind and retire those coal plants. Now, I got a tour of their emerging technology R&D facility that's doing research into making sure all of these goals are met. The scientists and engineers there are testing everything from island microgrids to solar panels. They're even testing different battery materials for those solar batteries and EV chargers and this research helps us not only be carbon free but it's also going to get us to be more resilient and more efficient there in the future. Again we are here at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse where that meeting will take place tonight. It's the public's chance to get their word in on this carbon plan. Alicia. Alicia real quick I mean just as you mentioned you got to see a lot of that behind the scenes science at that facility amazing. I mean, it's so interesting. This is so important. How crucial is that work to hitting these goals? So crucial because as we add more wind and solar to the grid, batteries are going to be key, especially with solar, right? The sun doesn't shine 24 seven. We have to put that energy somewhere and they're testing different battery materials for efficiency, storage, duration, all of that. And you'll get to see that tour of that facility coming up tonight at 10. And of course, we'll have a recap of those public comments at the meeting coming up tonight also at 10. But for now, reporting live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, meteorologist Elisa Rafa, BBC News. Thanks for breaking it down for us, Lisa. Appreciate it.